we would possibly still see numbers where violence and homicides and non-fatal shootings are, are increasing. But these are all guns. Think about this. These are all guns that have been or could have been used in other homicides. Well, new tonight, IMPD releasing new data from the last 12 months of the department's Enhanced Community Safety Initiative. According to IMPD, data more than uh, 1,200 guns have been seized over the last year. And News 8's Cody Adams sat down with Captain Ball today to talk about that data. He joins us live from IMPD headquarters. Cody, what were you able to find? Guys, here's the biggest thing Captain Ball mentioned. Obviously, any amount of guns taken off the streets is a good amount, but he said there's still a lot of work to be done. We don't necessarily hang our hat on those numbers. Uh, as Chief Taylor has mentioned, but Chief Bailey really does sort of preach this to the teams, it's more about quality than it is quantity. Captain Brady Ball is the coordinator for the Enhanced Community Safety Initiative for IMPD. He's tasked with using the initiative created violence reduction teams and task forces to target problem areas. The idea of really being laser focused on a person as a crime contributor and then a specific hotspot location as a crime contributor, we did not really know what our results would be. But a little bit surprisingly, uh, from the research that Chief Bailey did, Chief Taylor did, and the working group behind this initiative, we saw an impact. And you can see it in the numbers. Captain Ball believes this new initiative is working. From April 5th of 2021 to April 5th of 2022, IMPD seized 1,213 guns. He attributes those numbers to the shift in the way they're targeting violent crime. We knew that if we focused on the people, the hot spot, the places, um, the crime areas that needed the attention, that the guns, they would come. And that's, that's what's happened here. Captain Ball says this is a good start. He believes there is a lot to still learn in what they're doing. But now with this data, he says they know what direction they want to go as they continue working to reduce violent crime in the city. What we want to know is what house, what people in that block are the cause of most of this violent crime. Um, to be honest, we're still working on that. But without creating this initiative and working the direction we've been working, we would not have known that's the direction we need to go. Now, it's not just those 1,200 plus guns taken off the streets by IMPD over the last 12 months. According to the newly released data, they also arrested 167 serious violent f offenders of violent felons. Reporting live in Indianapolis, Cody Adams, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.